Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be looking at basic editing of a web page using XTCMS and Zara Designer Pro. So I've got um, a test website here uploaded and for this particular video I'm going to just be changing this home page so the URL up here won't change. It's the same home page that I'm going to be editing. Um, we'll be looking at changing page templates um, and editing dynamic content but just bear in mind that a page template is not the same as an actual web page so just bear that in mind okay so the first thing <coughs> we need to do um, or we can do is edit the um, actual dynamic content on the page so on this particular web page um, this area here is actually defined as dynamic editable content so we can edit this in the CMS so let's go over here to the admin area and if we go to categories um, these are basically the different categories or web pages on our website that the CMS um, handles and serves so in this situation we're looking at the home page category and if I click modify there uh, we can change the different aspects of that so the main content is what we need to look at here and this is the text that we were looking at so let's change this to testing just to show um, actually updating and we scroll down and just click save category now if we go back and refresh um, you can see that the text is updated and it now says testing for that second paragraph now um, what if we didn't want to just change the um, editable content what if we wanted to actually change the design of the page or the layout of the page well to do that we need to edit the actual page template so um, as I said I'm um, using um, a website template in Zara so to do that I'm going to edit the, um, the page template in Zara now this is um, actually the interface team in Zara and over here on the right these are the different pages in that team now when I'm using the CMS I refer to these as page templates um, a couple of reasons and um, the first one is because each one of these isn't actually a live web page when it's used in the CMS and um, it's actually uploaded as a page template into a special team folder and that particular page template can be used many times over for different web pages that the CMS um, is that's created in the CMS okay so let's get back to actually editing um, our page template for the home page so this green area here defines our dynamic content area if I click on edit on this and look at the actual placeholder code um, it's just a simple tag that says page content um, and this lets the CMS know where to put the dynamic content on the page now it's possible to actually um, add multiple um, content areas on any page um, but I'm just going to stick with the one for now so that this video doesn't get too complicated um, so let's look at actually change the page template so let's make this um, the width of this maybe just halfway across the page um, let's move it over to the right as well and let's just put a, um, a photo in there of some bread or sorry <laughs> apples or peaches um, okay so now we've got as a designer now we've changed the page um, the page template so let's publish this now back up into the CMS and that's uploaded now so if I go back now and refresh this page you can see that the page template is updated and our dynamic content is still here and um, we can edit this again so if I go back into the CMS and maybe just shorten this down let's remove some of this text here and make it shorter and just type testing a couple of times save that now if we go back and refresh the page you can see again that our editable text has changed and we're using the new page template so there are the two different um, ways of editing a web page uh, using the CMS um, you can either change the um, dynamic content or the editable content via the CMS or you can change the page template that this particular web page is using okay so again it's really simple to do so if I go back to say I wasn't happy with it like that I could go back and change the um, page template I'll move the image over to the right instead move the text area over to the left republish that again 
and refresh the page in our browser and you can see that it's all um, changed now so that's the um, the basics of, of editing a web page now if we wanted to change the um, page template to a different page template as you can see in Zara we've got different page templates here and we're using the home page one here at the moment what happens if we change this to say default page template so we go back to the CMS we edit the same category and down here we see a selection for page template and it's set to home at the moment so let's change that now to default and if we save that and go back and refresh the same web page you can see now it's using an entirely different um, page template and if we look at Zara you can see how that page template just has one big um, placeholder for the dynamic content and so if we look at our another page template look at this news one here again it's a whole different page template with our dynamic content here and some images we can change to use that one for the home page we want just go back here change the page template to news save that and when we go back and refresh it we can see that same editable content but the page template has changed so that's the difference between editing page templates and editing uh, the dynamic content again so another thing we can do what we want to change the entire website um, to use a different theme well we can do that as well so if we go back to um, the configuration options here under advanced I've uploaded another theme out of Zara called Grid so I'm going to switch to that now and save website settings and if I go back now and refresh the page again you can see now we're using an entirely different uh, website theme now this one is using the news um, page template which I haven't defined it, um, a dynamic area on so if I look in actually on Zara and go to the news page here in Zara you can see there's no, I haven't actually defined any dynamic um, areas on this page but if I go back up to the home page one I have so let's go and change if we go back to uh, the same category, the home page category and modify that we change the page template back to home here and save it and then refresh it you can see now we're using a different theme and uh, we've changed the page template again and now our dynamic content for that particular web page is showing up uh, because this one has a dynamic um, editable area